One of my favorite phones of 2022, heck I would say my favorite phone of 2022, definitely was the Vivo X80 Pro and till this day I still think this is an excellent phone. But I kind of want to revisit it and see how it holds up today and maybe, maybe this is for a normal user even a better phone than the Vivo X90 Pro. Let me explain in this update video on the Vivo X80 Pro. So straight away I want to dive into one of the best selling points for the Vivo X80 Pro and the camera is one of them, but there's another one, especially for day to day life. It's the fingerprint scanner. This is the Ultrasonic 3D fingerprint scanner, which is far better than any 2D camera fingerprint scanner that we get in many brands. And I keep saying it, this fingerprint scanner needs to be a standard on every major flagship, because simply put, this fingerprint scanner puts the 2D fingerprint scanner to shame and not to mention that it is so much more efficient and better and accurate. Not to mention that it is a larger area that you're working with. The fingerprint scanner that you get on the Vivo X80 Pro and also of course on the X90 Pro Plus which is not for the international market so it's only there in China and I think some Asian parts but either way when it comes to the Vivo X80 Pro having that fingerprint scanner is much better than what you get with any other 2D fingerprint scanner that is basically a camera taking an image of your thumb where with a 3D ultra fingerprint scanner it is sound bouncing up and down to actually calculate the depth in your finger and therefore far better. So definitely one of the things that I think holds up really well when it comes to the Vivo X80 Pro. Now of course software is one of the things that also matters and I don't think Vivo is necessarily the best here. Not guaranteeing any updates or a certain amount of years of updates definitely isn't something that you'd like to see when it comes to a brand especially when it comes to flagships. With that being said, what is it running right now? It's running Android 13. Of course, it started out with Android 12, but right now it's Android 13 with the February security update. Now, of course, while recording, it's still March, but overall, it doesn't seem too bad in terms of updates, and I do get regular updates. How long I will receive updates? I honestly don't know, and that's something we'll have to wait and see in the future what the phone will do in terms of that. And then we come to the section of camera because this is one of the major selling points for me when it comes to the Vivo X80 Pro. Now I know when it comes to the Vivo X90 Pro for example you do get that larger main sensor a one inch sensor and yes when it comes to having that one inch sensor it's definitely better on the Vivo X90 Pro. However this one isn't a slouch you still get a 1 over 1 3 inch sensor size which is still fine. Uh, it's not the best of course and definitely you can tell that it doesn't have that natural bouquet that you get with a one inch sensor size but overall when it comes to the camera performance it's still really solid and of course you do get most of the styles that you get on the vivo x90 pro as well however you do get a periscope when it comes to the vivo x80 pro where you don't get that on the vivo x90 pro with that being said though i don't think it's necessarily the best periscope heck i would call it one of the weaker parts when it comes to the vivo x80 pro it's better for zooming compared to what you get on the vivo x90 pro for example but it isn't the best and there are definitely better ones out there that perform better here so the periscope well it's a benefit it's also not a huge benefit compared to something like the x90 pro so let's look at some shots that i've taken on this beautiful vivo x80 pro because simply put it still allows for some beautiful shots and that vintage filter is definitely one of my favorites when it comes to having the possibility to play around with the phone because that is one of the strengths for Vivo.
So with it all being said and done, the Vivo X80 Pro still holds up really well. Yes, it isn't perfect and definitely it creates some scratches on the back because of that different in terms of texture and it is noticeable. But when it comes to just in day to day life, this phone is excellent and it is really helped by having one a good display. Having that 3D fingerprint scanner is definitely a huge benefit and of course having a camera that performs well. It also runs of course on Android 13 but overall I think the phone still functions well in day to day life. Yes the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 isn't the best CPU out there and it's definitely noticeable if you are playing games for longevity then yeah it isn't the best but Vivo does pretty well when it comes to cooling compared to a lot of other phones out there. So. It isn't the most stable chip, but it isn't the worst Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 experience. There are worse ones out there. So when you compare this with, for instance, the Vivo X90 Pro, I think the biggest selling point for the Vivo X80 Pro is that fingerprint scanner. The camera performance, I would say, if you want to go full out in terms of experience with the camera, the X90 Pro, I would go for that one because it does have that one inch sensor and I take most of my shots with the main camera, but it really depends on what you are using your camera for. But when it comes to having that one inch sensor, it is definitely beneficial. And I think that the Vivo X90 Pro definitely has the X80 Pro beat when it comes to that camera experience, especially because of that one inch sensor. With that being said, if you are more of a casual shooter and you don't necessarily care about that beautiful bouquet that you can get from a one inch sensor and of course that beautiful effects that you get with it as well, and of course the new Cineflare for instance, then yes, I think that the Vivo X80 Pro still holds up really well. You can take stunning shots with it. It all depends on the user at the end as well. So even though I would say that the X90 Pro is the better camera performance, it doesn't mean that the X80 Pro is bad by any means. It's still an excellent camera, it's still an excellent phone and definitely has the benefit of having that 3D Ultra fingerprint scanner under it. Either way, this was my look back on the Vivo X80 Pro, a little bit comparing it to of course the Vivo X90 Pro because that of course is for the global market but overall I still think that the Vivo X80 Pro holds up really well and while the CPU isn't the best, it isn't the best on the Vivo X90 Pro either. It needs a little bit of work especially when it comes to heating up because that X90 Pro can heat up quite a bit. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video and of course if you did don't forget to leave a like, comment below and of course subscribe. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year and we'll see how we get onto that one. Either way, have a good one and talk to you guys in the next.